As you know, the countdown is ongoing. The 2012 Summer Olympic Games in London are going to be upon us before you know it. And we welcome Terrell Gaucher, who is a local product, went to Glenville High. He is a middleweight. He's on the United States boxing team. And congratulations and welcome. Appreciate that. Thank you. Really, uh, it, it, it's an honor and great to have you on the show. And um, tell us about your background now. You, you're from Cleveland. Hey, yeah, I'm from Cleveland. Um, I started boxing at Glenville Rec. Right? Um, I started boxing when I was about 10 years old. Uh, you know, when I was 10, I kind of wasn't so sure of myself with boxing, so I took a little break. Came back when I was about 12, 11, 12. Had my first fight. Um, I actually lost my first two fights. <laughs> and. Uh, Came back, I, I got pretty good. Start winning, start liking it, stuck with it. Won uh, two national championships. And uh, now I won a qualifiers in London. I mean, in uh, <laughs> Brazil, I'm sorry. For London? Yeah, for London. And now I'm the Olympian for the United States, representing oh, my country. Man. It's oh, a big deal. That, that is, you, you're not kidding, it's a big <laughs> deal. What inspired you to go to boxing rather than football, basketball, some other sport? Oh, I just always liked fighting. It was always in my blood, but it's to do it in another sense, to do it professionally and one day be able to buy my mom a house, it was like, that's that's what I wanted to do, you know? So I um, went to the gym, put the pair of gloves on, and it was history ever since. You just endeared yourself to every female in the audience now, Terrell, to buy your mom a house. How, how sweet indeed that is. Oh, yeah. Who, uh, uh, there had to be somebody uh, that took you under his wing, a trainer, a manager, somebody discovered you. Um, well, first, first off, it was Bob Davis. That was my first coach ever. So um, I was with him from the age of 10 all the way up to 18. And uh, I, I Renard Saffo is my current coach. I've been with him for four years, but I knew him since I started boxing. He was working with my coach. And um, he just had a lot of people out his gym, a lot of champions, and I liked it, what was going on over there. So I ventured out and got with him, and I've been successful. Do you ever have any second uh, doubts about yourself? And you know, it's a tough sport, especially qualifying for the United States uh, Olympic team. Um, back back when I first started, I was my confidence wasn't as good as it is now. Um, well, taking taking a few losses along the way and learning learning from that, you know, I pay my dues in the sport, so my confidence level rise, rose a lot. So now. I feel like I'm the best. Now, you had six fights, I understand, and seven days in the U.S. championships in March. And I want you to tell us uh, um, about that. But, man, you had to get tired. I was a piece of cake. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, it, was, it was a lot of nice competitive fights. My first fight was actually a close one. It was uh, 18 to 16 against a guy named Caleb Plant, a good friend of mine. But... Uh, and I was I was I was mentally prepared for that fight as well as physical, physically. So I knew that I knew what it took, and I was willing to do everything to get my spot. So at the at the end, I wasn't even tired to tell you the truth. In May, you went to the um, America's Continental Championships in order to qualify for the Olympics, mm -hmm. and I understand there were national champions there um, from different countries? Um, it, was, it was a lot of top fighters from, from all over the world. And uh, we just had to go in there and see who was, the, who was the toughest. And not only did I qualify, but I won the whole tournament. So to tell you something right there, I was, I was ready and focused. The training for boxing is tedious. I, I, I don't know. You know, you, we watch movies. We can watch uh, um, live reports on NBC who has the rights to the Olympics, et cetera. But the training, take us through that training and what's involved. And these are, the, the Olympics are three-round fights. Mm -hmm. um, people kind of get the wrong idea. They say it's only three rounds, but it's uh, intense three rounds. Um, you know, three rounds we giving it all we got every every round every second we don't take no time off so um it's a it's, it's a tough sport 
you, you, the training for boxing is it's just like uh, nonstop because every day of your life you gotta be, you know, the way you live, even outside the gym, it all play a part. So you gotta just be disciplined with your diet, um, the, even the way you think. It's just, you can play any other sport, but you can't play boxing. It's just <laughs> How much do you run a day? Um, I, I run up to eight miles. Oh. Eight miles. Oh. Oh. I actually ran 10 miles before. That's the highest I ever ran. Uh, is it every day that you work on the speed bag and the body bag too? Um, it's different days. It just all depends on what the schedule looking like. Um, sometimes the coach might want to implement different things, but not every day, but almost. Do almost you jump every rope day. every day? Uh, not every day, but almost. You spar every day? Every other day, I spar. It's usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Tell us about our team. How are we gonna do? Uh, I think we're gonna. This this the team right here. I think we're gonna do great. Everybody got that hunger. Everybody got that passion to win. So, and everybody is willing to learn, open-minded, and we all just feed off each other. And we went out there and did did real good out there. And. Um, Rio de Janeiro. You know, uh, uh, are you familiar with the history of Olympic boxing in this country, uh, the Sugar Ray Leonard's of the yeah, world? I keep up with it. I, I'm a big fan of Sugar Ray Leonard, so I watched his Olympic fights. I watched his pro fights. I'm a big fan of Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, Muhammad Ali, the former Cassius Clay, oh, was, a, was an Olympic champion gold exactly. medalist. Exactly. Um, he actually threw his Olympic gold medal in the river, <laughs> but he, he, he's a great he's a great fighter. Um, I think it'll never be another Ali or Sugar Ray Leonard, but it's uh, it's our time to bring the sport back, you know. Didn't you just recently throw a uh, first pitch at uh, Progressive Field? Uh, yeah, it was a it was a heck of an experience. Um, I was just feeling good, just for Are them. Are you right handed? Have... Yes, I'm right handed. You're gonna throw that right arm out. You're gonna need that cross, nah, you know. Nah, um, I got it. Over, I got it over the plate though. <laughs> <laughs> but the the, the uh, guy kind of missed the ball, so. It, Made me look a little bit. Terrell, is Cuba still tops in the world? Uh, from my understanding, Cuba, Russia, is right, right up there, neck to neck. So uh, right now, it's you know, it's it's up to us to change that. America, we need we need some medals. That's it. Now, are you uh, uh, now that you've made the team? Uh, are you all are all of the American boxers training together, or are you still in separate portions of the country? Or where when do you all come together before going over to London? Um, the training camp is actually set for June 27th, um, but we do other events and get together. Like we we're going out to Vegas to watch the Manny Pacquiao fight. And do so. The whole team. The whole team. Oh, that's cool. Yes. So, um, we we do train together, but you know, people, everybody's in their own city right now and doing their own little thing with they with they individual coaches. So, June 27th is going to be the camp. You've met all the other guys on the team. Yeah, we real close. We got a um, good good bond. You know, uh, I met all the all the other Olympians. We all good. Who's the coach? That I don't know right now. Oh, the coach? You don't? You it's haven't met the coach yet? Well, it's still up in the air who's who's going to be the coach, the actual coach. But uh, I'm. It's it's three coaches. I know them real good, but uh, we don't know who's going to be the head coach yet. Uh, what what do you think of the point system in Olympic boxing? Because it can get a little hairy. You know, you've got the white tips on your gloves, and it's all. You know, it's how you score. Uh huh. Um. It's, it, it don't bother me at all. Um, I, I like the whole point system thing because I actually have good defense, so I don't get scored on a lot. And I got good good offense, so I score on the other guy a lot, so that make good for me. Are you an aggressor? Are you a dancer? Uh, tell us about your style. Uh, I, I, I really can't put a finger on it. I just get in there and do what I gotta do to get the win, so sometimes I surprise myself. Uh, I'm. I got a good arsenal. I got. I can box. I can move. I can. I'm a big puncher. So 
I kind of. You do. Uh, 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 is it fair to say that you'll do a combination of squaring off in the middle of the ring and then work the ring left to right, right to left uh, on the perimeter? Yep, pretty much. I just could try to dominate all aspects, um, whether it's boxing, whether we're in the inside, you know, whether whatever whatever the situation may be. What's I, your best punch? Jab, right cross, j um. Uh, all of them. <laughs> all of them. Um, but I like the right hand, the straight right hand, straight cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's fascinating. I you know I I love the boxing competition in the Olympics. I have since I was a little kid. It was before your time, but the late great Howard Cosell used to do the uh, blow by blow description for yeah, yeah for the uh, Olympics, and uh, it was so exciting back then. But. <clears throat> And that was when the Soviet Union was still intact, too, mm -hmm. which made it even tougher for the United States team, mm -hmm. along with Cuba. But, uh, gosh, we wish you the best of luck. And you think we, our, our team this year is very formidable. We can win some gold, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we're going to bring the medals back. Uh, we, we definitely will. Terrell, God bless. Best of luck to you and your teammates representing the United States in the Olympics. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And we're all behind Terrell uh, Gachet, who is from uh, Glenville and uh, representing the United States in the upcoming Olympic boxing competition in London. We'll be right back, Repting.